all right welcome back to the channel guys and today we are one more time in the Tromsø landscape getting some shot and uh today is a special one because we are going to test out some uh some bigger rig for a project coming out soon and um while we are at it why not talking about the remote id because we all know that remote id comes and it will say it's not going away anytime soon and um yeah what can we do about it and how do we put ourselves on the safest place as possible to not do anything illegal flying and uh, how can it help what's positive about it the remote id is basically a device that either built in your drone or you just have to buy it separately if you have an old school drone and i will go through the process with you guys and show you how it goes and today we're gonna be installing a remote id on my uh, diatone Sinope. and the one that we're using today is the drone tag bs stand for basic solution so we have those this this one as a drone tag mini and uh, if you guys want to know more about those two uh, i'm making a video about it and i will put it on the descriptions and you guys can go and check those two out so this one is basically the lightest between those three because it's only weigh 1.8 gram when you add the wire in it 2.3 gram your heat shrink 2.5 grams so basically weigh nothing and you can just basically add it on your rc plane or fpv drones without sacrificing uh, battery life or if you want to keep it under the 250 gram this will be your perfect way to go in addition if you don't want to power it from your drones you want to power it from uh, its own battery you have this 1s battery 80 milliamp super small and you can just power this one by itself and then you put it all together inside here um, like that and yeah so this became like your remote id module that you can be moving from one mini quad to another one for today i'm just gonna be using this system without uh, the battery just to keep it as light as possible so now we completely remove the top plate and uh, what we're gonna be doing now is to replace this flight controller from iFlight so this is the parts I'm going to be replacing the, the previous one for so here I believe we have the uh, F7 uh, mini from uh, MAPS and here is the 45 amp ESC from, from them as well the mini so let's just go and open those two this box you push it here let's just put that one aside and here you have the EC. it's a 20 by 20 and it's actually pre-coded i don't know if you can see that guys but it's pre-coded and uh, at least the bottom side is pre-coded pretty big pads a lot of filtration in it so that's really good of those pads and what else we have in here we have of course not to see there a lot of grommets and uh different pins i think because here you have your xt60 which is good then you have multiple options of uh oops of cables to do you know um, plug in place the same thing push that side and your stuff come up and here is your flight controller f7 mini oh usb-c nice um lots of pad absolutely plug and play with dji and the esc come in here uh, m3 holes are really nice and really clean to say that you can just put it on a bigger bigger quad not only mini mini ones so as you can see here the flight controller doesn't have any coated material on it that's Okay, because we're gonna be coded ourselves. As you see, this arrow has to be pointing forward, and since we're gonna place it like that, I'm gonna think I'm gonna be using that as the top because 
I have all my soldering pad here so I can just do it. I don't have to, you know, do it upside down. But so that being said, I wish they placed this arrow on the top. But again, as you can see here on top is pretty crowded. Guess it makes sense to have it on the bottom. Let's, uh, let's go and desolder that one and replace it with that one. So let's just go in, you know, solder all the things that we need to solder here. So while we were at it, we just went ahead and apply some uh, worry free on it just to make sure that it's all coated and it's all covered. So what I think I'm going to do now is like I'm going to be using the 5 volt, the R3 and T3 for the receiver because it's closer here and just make everything look tight and clean. For the remote ID, I will be using RX2 or TX2. So now what we need to do is basically pre tend those wires for the receiver. Let's just place them a little bit on the outside. Just pre tend them a little bit. Clean that iron tip. This one up here. And now I think I'm just going to pre tin I don't know if I should use the whole length of that thing or if I should cut it a little bit because this will go down here. I think I'm going to be using the whole length just in case later on I want to move, move it from that quad to another one. So, uh, but what I will do is to cut those tape a little bit shorter yeah that looks good so what we need is ground 5 volt r2 and t2 so i'm just going to be use this and just so you know this um the joint tag can handle one to four s uh, but since this quad is uh will be a 6s, I cannot just pilot it straight to VBAT, so I will have to use this gun here, 5 volt, two. so we just do drawing here. And then five volt. And then the yellow one is the RX from the drone tag, so it has to go on TX. And the green one is TX from the drone tag, so it has to go on RX. So let's just put RX first here. And then the RX from the drone to TX here. That looks perfect so let me just have a closer look at it that looks perfect I already um, put some coating on that little guy here 
for now I am just gonna let it queue and uh, in the meantime I can just plug this one in like that so yeah basically everything is done now and we just have to you know keep that one toggle and place it somewhere safe and put some coding in here and uh, put everything back together and do some beta flight configurations and yeah we are basically done here now basically this drone is fully remote id compliant and those straps are really nice and really long so again thanks to maps for sending those to me and uh yeah this is my first remote id fpv build all right guys we made it at the end of the video and if you do made it all the way here give us a thumbs up and follow give us a follow and uh drop a comment telling me where you're from and uh where you're watching us from and uh yeah see you on the next one